Hi, this is Verdi from the Sauna Heater. Today, it's my pleasure to be visiting Horse Factory and Central Warehouse in Estonia, in the beautiful town of Tartu. We are going to look into these award-winning wood-burning sauna heaters from Hull. Here, I have the Hull i P12 LS, and LS means it has extended firebox, which makes it possible that you can embed the firebox through the wall and you can load it from the other room if you want to and also you can load in a bit longer wood in case you want to do that and there we have i'm arnold from mohum sauna so i'm the expert manager for the north american markets so what do we have here right beside me is the high wood 17. it's with the shorter fire chamber but we also offer with the with the elongated fire chamber just like the hive heat ls and also we have a small version of it, the Hive, Hive Wood 13. And with this one, the first thing I want to say is that we have an additional item, additional cage here to hide your chimney. And this is something that I just learned today. You can put even three of these on top of each other to increase the rock capacity of your sauna heater, make it look much nicer and hide your chimney if you don't want it to be seen by people. But let's look into each one of these options individually. We will start from the Home Hive Wood 17. So the Home Hive Wood 17 is suitable for sauna rooms from 212 cubic feet up to 459 cubic feet. But obviously, if you have a bigger sauna, it's always possible to put two wood-fired sauna heaters right next to each other or in the same sauna room and that will increase the capabilities so you can even supply a much bigger wood fire sauna with two of these if you want. So the Hive Wood 17, which is the bigger version of the Hive Wood stove that we have, its capacity of rocks is about 130 kilograms of stones and each rock cage you can put one, two, three, it adds up to 40 kilograms of stones. Yeah, and with all Hume's wood fired sauna heaters, we have both available uh, through the wall chimney kits and through the ceiling chimney kits. And the chimney kit is always connected on top of the sauna heater. And then if you have through the wall, you just have a curve there or through the ceiling, it goes directly up there. And for barrels, we also have an extra chimney set. So let's talk about the fire chamber of Boom Hive 417. So first, as you can see, we have a large glass window here, which creates a nice atmosphere when you can see the burning wood glowing from there. Also, the great thing with all wood-fired saunas is the smell that the burning wood creates. I mean, who doesn't love that? Then if we look inside the fire chamber, you can fit wood up to 12 inches in here. When you start the fire, you need to open the ashtray uh, up to one centimeter, which is 0 0.4 inches. Yep. So when you're starting the fire, as, as soon as I have, uh, you have a good fire going on already, you need to close it to up to 0 0.2 uh, centimeters, which is 10 millimeters, which is a very small gap. And after you are done with your sauna session, you can go and remove the ashtray. It will have the ashes here, and you can go and throw those out after your sauna session is done. So this is called the Hive Heat 12 LS. The LS means it has the extended fire chamber, which gives you an extra 10 centimeters of length you can use with your fire logs. So 40 centimeters is actually one foot and four inches. So you can use uh, longer fire logs. What makes this heater special is that it has the special certification, which is called the BIMS B, which is uh, given out to wood stoves that have are very eco-friendly for our nature. And how does it do it is that it creates an extra fire, let's say like a fire cycle inside the sauna so when you open up these holes it get, gives in fresh oxygen so all the ash that's going through the chimney is getting burnt so you have a very efficient fire this means also that all the logs that you're using you have to use 25 percent less fire logs so it's more efficient so when you're starting the fire for your sauna and then you start regulating the fire intensity with these air holes if you have a very good chimney with a good airflow, then you don't need the uh, holes to be open that, that much, but uh, you will get the uh, hang of it by regulating it. Okay, so at the end here, one more thing I want to say is that if your wood-fired sauna has a wooden floor, so if the floor is made out of combustible materials, 
we strongly recommend that you get the official protective bedding from home to protect your floor from any burn marks or anything like that. We strongly recommend getting foam, but even if you don't uh, want to choose our own protective bedding by whom, it is even mandatory to have a protective bedding because if you don't have a protective bedding, it's actually a fire hazard when you have some combustible material underneath the wood stove. And we also have some heat reflectors available. So reflectors you can put around your wood-fired sauna heater to reflect the heat away from combustible materials towards the sauna goers. Those are also good safety distances that will reduce the required safety distance 50%. So those are good to get in any case as well. Thank you for watching the video. This was Veti from the sauna heater from beautiful Estonia and home headquarters. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us or comment down below. Thanks.